gotta choose me, I won't be afraid to If I gotta choose me, I gotta do what I gotta do When I love you, I lose me Now I can't be attached to you no more I like me better when I was yours what's going on everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Tay. nice to meet you and if you have not yet subscribed baby girl what are you doing what are you doing what are you really doing subscribe to my channel and be a part of my lovely fantabulous astronomically lit family honey we're growing slowly but definitely surely in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my natural hair product collection honey being a natural here is hard. It's real hard, but guess what? It comes with the perk of having all these beautiful hair products. So I was thinking if I should go in order from like shampoos, conditioners, deep conditioners, all of that. But I don't know. I don't know. It's a mystery. So without further ado, baby girl, let's get started. Hey, from the editing room. So, disclaimer. This entire video, I was saying Millie. It's not Millie, it's Meow. <laughs> Sorry. So that's that's the first disclaimer. Second disclaimer. Um, I do do my deep conditioner after I condition my hair, not before I condition my hair. So just had to put that out there. First, we have this Aussie Miracle Moist Shampoo. And I was kind of skeptical about trying this at first, but... <laughs> Honey, when I actually tried it, when I actually tried it, I couldn't stop. This bottle is like right here. I got this during quarantine and this has just been my go-to shampoo ever since I started using it. So honey, boo-boo child, if you are a natural, if you're not a natural, definitely get this. It is carbon free. As you can tell, it says it at the bottom. And it also has avocado and makes your hair smell so, so good. So hop on that wave if you have not hopped yet. Okay, so the next shampoo that I have not yet used, but I'm so excited to use is this renewing argan oil and moroccan of morocco shampoo and it says it helps to penetrate the hair shaft discover newly restored strength so this is basically the renewing shampoo i guess it just renews your curls and you know renews damaged hair or whatever whatever so i'm so excited to use this and i did watch a few videos on this and i can't wait to use it so this is a part of my lovely natural hair collection okay so before i do wash my hair i do have this african pride moisture miracle pre shampoo i do use this to detangle my hair and wow there's a lot of hair in the bottom wow we're not gonna talk about that this smells so good and it has coconut in there i believe yes it has aloe and coconut honey and it smells so good y'all want to smell it okay i'm gonna make y'all smell mm. <laughs> smells so good oh, i just want to wash my hair right now but it's totally fine so this is a pre-shampoo i do want to try some more of their products but i did have to test this out because i've seen it do wonders to other people's hair and this also has no paraben parben i think i'm saying it wrong so next we're going to move on to deep conditioner so i'm going in the order of what my wash day is so next we're going to move on to deep conditioner so the first deep conditioner i have is this three minute miracle ozzy moist deep conditioner i had to get the whole thing honestly i got the shampoo the conditioner and the deep conditioner and the leave-in but we're gonna get to that i did get two in a pack because i'm trying to find another one I did get two in a pack. It came as a bundle. I think it was like two for five, two for $3.75 at Walmart. So get it at Walmart, honey. This really leaves my hair really soft, fresh, definitely moisturized. And I just love Ozzy Moist. Since I started using Ozzy Moist, I've been feeling more confident and healthy when it comes to my hair. <sighs> Thank you, Ozzy. This video is not sponsored, but sponsor me. I'm using your entire line. Look, 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 look. Purple, purple, purple. It's not even my favorite color, but guess what? I'm still rocking y'all lines, so y'all need to sponsor me because it's about time. Y'all seen this before. Y'all seen this name before, honey boo boo child. This is the Melly Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. It's protein moisture and replenisher for drying damage hair. I have not opened this yet. I have not used it yet. Ooh, this smell healthy. Smell it. <sighs> Don't get too close. Six feet. This smells really good. I can't wait to try it. I am finishing the Ozzy Moist Deep Conditioner. But once I'm done, I'm definitely going to try this. Matter of fact, I might try it on my next wash day. I can't stop smelling it. Babasu and mint. What is babasu? Mmm, this smells good. Let me smell it one more time. 
Oh, my sugar. This comes after the deep conditioner or before the deep conditioner, one of them. But I do use this Aztec Secret Healing Clay Mask on my hair. This is great for bringing back your curls, honey boo boo. If you are working on getting your curls back, rejuvenating your curls, get you the Aztec Secret Healing Clay Mask. If you don't know, baby girl, now you know. This is actually a new one. So I've been using another one and it's almost done. I also do use it on my face as well because baby girl, we're trying to get clear skin. So now Next, we're gonna move into conditioner. So the first conditioner that I have is the, of course, Ozzy Moist. I told you guys that I got the entire collection. Sponsor me. So the entire line of Ozzy Moist is really, 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 really good. And it's paraben free again. I just love, love, love Ozzy Moist. Y'all just have to understand where I'm coming from when I wash my hair. Cause this, this, this stuff is, this stuff is gold. It's not heaven. It's close, but it's not heaven. It's just gold. The next conditioner I have is the Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner. I can't wait to use this. I have not used it before. Obviously, if I didn't use the shampoo, I didn't use the conditioner. But yes, I'm so excited to use this. Let's smell it. Ooh, it tried to come on my lip. Wow, that sounds so weird. Let's let's run that back. The next conditioner I have, I'm so sad because I couldn't find the shampoo. I don't know why they don't sell the shampoo in the beauty supply store that I went to, but they didn't sell it. The pomegranate and honey, Millie, $14. Look at, look at, look at the price, so y'all know I'm not lying. $14 for this little cushion, yum, 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 yum. Okay, so it is for type four hair, deeply hydrates, conditions, and silkens. Thick, curly type four hair. So I can't wait to use this. I can't smell it, because it's, let me open it. Mmm. Wow, it smells good. So I can't wait to use this, and I love that it has the pump. I love that it has the pump, so yeah, it's different. It's it's different, I like this. So next, I'm gonna move on into the curling smoothies and the leave-in conditioners. First, of course, we have the Ozzy Moist Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. Actually, the one reason why I don't like this is because it just leaves like this Stink smell in my hair that I don't like, but it's almost done though. Cause who wastes any money? Not I. I would recommend this because this is a good product, but I wouldn't recommend it because of the smell. I have Aunt Jackie Curls and Coils Curl La La. I know you guys have seen this all over the natural hair community. Honey, Aunt Jackie's is everywhere, and look, it, it is almost done. I use this down to the T. The only reason why I don't like this, it does leave flakes in your hair after you like take it out whatever but it is carbon free and sulfate free so that's what i love and it includes shea butter and olive oil and we love shea butter we love things that promote hair growth and it smells so so good smell it mm, yummy don't eat it though i'm gonna just show you guys this in one this is also famous in the natural hair community i was so excited when i got this and i'm gonna tell you guys my likes and dislikes about this product that i'm about to show you two things that i love it does not have parabens or sulfate and this is the coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie then we have the curl and styling milk so i really do love these two products especially this one this one first of all this smells really 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 good this leaves my hair very soft if i want to achieve a defined curl look i can just use this with some rosemary mint water and it'll do the trick it'll do the job next we have the curl enhancing smoothie like i said before i just started using it not too long ago actually i didn't even take the lid off but i did use it but the one thing i don't like about it is that it's really 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 thick like thicker than my hair thick so that's the one thing i don't like about it but other than that it really defines your curls by the way so last but not least on our coil and curling creams and smoothies we do have this millie pomegranate and honey coil sculpting custard i did use this about like like three times it smells really really good i want to actually try this when my hair is really wet because i want to do a wash and go <sighs> when i do my first wash and go i'm definitely gonna film it for you guys but yeah i can't wait to actually use this correctly on wet hair so next i'm going to be showing you guys the oils that i use in my hair to achieve moisturized hair we have Magnum Tonic Wine. No, I'm just kidding. This is not Magnum. This is actually castor oil straight from the island of Jamaica. Jamaica, boom. Jamaica, boom. Jamaica, land we love. 
So this is castor oil straight from the castor tree, honey. And this is almost done. Yes, this is straight from Jamaica. It was up to here. And we had this for about two years. You don't need a lot of this because first of all, it's really strong and it's a lot. Like a little tip can go all over your hair. It leaves your hair very shiny. It leaves my hair very shiny. And I've been using this and my hair has just been growing. So all these little castor oils that y'all been seeing in the beauty supply store, they ain't the real ones, just to let you know. I do have another castor oil that I featured in my natural box braiding video. If you have not yet watched that video, I'll put it up in the cards for you somewhere right here. So you guys can click on that video after you watch this one. This is 100% USP pure castor oil, hair, skin, and body treatment. So you can use this on your hair, your body, and your hair. And your skin, but body and skin is the same, right? This smells like the real castor oil, I'm not gonna lie to you, but um, this really helps. It's not the real one straight from Yad, but I mean, it does the trick. And it smells just like the castor oil that I use from Jamaica. So this was um $6 from not a hair store, from Burlington. Pop you some hair stuff from Burlington. I don't use these type of oils where I have to dip my hand anymore. I don't know why I got this oil. This is the Softy brand, you know, herbal oil, herbal grow. And I don't know, the reason why I got this, I, I I don't really know. I got this like a long time ago. I just don't use it anymore. I think I'm gonna throw it out. You guys have seen this. I know you guys have seen this. If you are a natural hair person and you love your oils, you will definitely have one of these oils that I'm about to mention in the next few clips. So I do have the Do Grow Anti-Itch Oil. Let me tell you, this has been the go-to oil for my healthy hair. And I'm gonna also tell you guys about this one too. Wild Grow Penning. When I tell you these two oils has grown on my hair <sighs> these two oils this one is almost done I think it's like right here but I need to get one more of this one and this one I just bought it like two weeks ago and look it's already there this you don't need a lot because it goes a long way this it stinks that's the only con but it smells good to me but it stinks to others it goes a long way but it also finishes fast so you don't need a lot of this i have not tried this but god if y'all know anything about this oil please comment down below what y'all experiences was with this oil these play a huge role in my hair growth journey so guys if you have not yet picked up your do grow and wild growth please Go to your beauty supply store and pick it up. We have one more oil. We have the Millie Rose Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. This also has played a role in my natural hair growth journey. And I tried to go to Tarjay and get another one, but they were sold out. And they only put four out. Like every time they restock, they only put like four out because these go by really, really fast. The next and last section is my mousse gels and edge controls. So these play a big part in my, well, well, more edge controls than gels because I do use edge control to lay my hair but if y'all don't know now y'all know and it lays it better so we are going to start off with the famous got to be glued blasting free spray so I use this I want to say twice I would never use it again. It's just not for me. I like my hair sleek. I like it laid, but honey, if I ain't putting on a wig, not for me. So next we do have this Suave Max Hold Volumizing Mousse Body and Lift. So I did pick this up at Tarjay because I want to try it and I didn't have a mousse. And when I do my braids, I might, I might just do four braids when I take these down. So who knows? I might use this. It smells really good and it refreshes my hair as well. So we have the famous Eco Style professional styling gel this is the olive oil one this is the go-to one I'm not gonna use the pink ones and the no this is the go-to one if I ever want to use some type of gel I don't use gels anymore like I told you guys before but when it's time to use gels this is my go-to gel but for four type hair it says for all hair types but for four type hair I really well for four type hair going on to 4c hair 4c hair mainly this is not for 4c hair this is like water to four. this is nothing to 4c hair this doesn't even hold a candle to 4c hair you cannot put this in 4c hair and expect it to stay Y'all got the wrong crowd. Hello? So this is the wet line. It just came out. It smells really good. I've used it like twice. I don't know why I got this big old gel thingy. I am going to also be defining my hair with this as well. Just stay tuned for that video coming very soon. The one thing I don't like about it, I feel like all gels do this, but the one thing I don't like about this gel or the eco gel is that it leaves like flakes in my hair. Can nobody 
for that. You walk around think people think you having a dandruff reunion in your head and it gave me. It's not cute. But it really smells good. It, stuff is all about the smell, honestly. You don't want to put anything stink in your hair, but the stink stuff make your hair grow. So last but not least for gels, we do have the Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Snot. This is not mine, this is my sister's. But I have had my experiences with Gorilla Glue. I had the green one. This, I had this one as well. This really actually laid my hair really, really good. Like sleek. Lick. but I heard that this is not good for your hair so I stopped using it if this were the only thing left in the world for me to slick my hair with I wouldn't have a problem with it so last but not least we do have our edge controls and pomade two months ago i had want to say a month ago or two months ago i did do a video on the edge controls that i have um, which one works for my hair and which one doesn't work for my hair so if you guys have not watched that video yet i'm gonna put it up in the cards for you guys and i also did get some new edge controls so i will be featuring them in this segment of the video so the first edge control that i have is the 24 hour edge tamer even professional edge tamer this works for me in a way it don't work for a long time but it works in a way next we have lada body with coconut and shea oils um this ugh, this does not work please lada body put something else in it put some put some put some some rat glue or something because this does not do anything to my hair this this holds nothing to my hair and it says for all hair types and that's the problem i'm trying to make something for all hair types make it for a specific target a specific hair type because you say it make for all hair types is not helping me out right now sorry that's the thesis next we have our murray's edge wax extreme hold i did pick up another one of these i started using it a little bit i love this but when it comes to holding my edges for a long time this is not it clearly i like it if i got another one right this is my favorite one of my favorite edge controls it finally went back in stock in my local beauty supply store so i had to go ahead and pick it up this is the first touch down 48 hours hold it has argan oil tea tree oil jojoba jojoba oil and brazilian nut oil i love everything about this this edge control i have not used it yet like i said before i had it before and it just went back in stock in my local beauty supply store so i had to go pick it up this is like um this is a pomade no it's not it's an edge control 38 hours 36 hours i couldn't just make it 38 so this this is like the bigger version of the touchdown the smaller one that i just showed you guys this is just like a bigger version of that i did pick this up because i want to try it because they just came out with it so i'm like might as well try it it doesn't really have a smell to it it says that it has a delicious vitamin scent but it is filled with argan oil and tea tree oil so i love that this makes my hair very wavy though so that's what i don't like it doesn't slick my hair it makes my hair very wavy but it does work when i add like different stuff to it and it is activated by water. So the last product I'm going to show you guys is the Edge Booster Water Base Pomade, the Citrus Scent. This is the first edge control that I bought and I was just in love. And then until it ran out and then I had to buy something else. I couldn't find this anywhere. It was like the tiny ones that I was finding. When I actually found this, I'm like, wow, it's on the pricey side for this amount. It is nearly $10, but it does work for my edges and it smells so good. And it does not leave your edges white like other edge controls would. Let me know down below, guys, if you guys want me to do a week in my natural hair using different edge controls. Because I just thought of that video and I'm like, wow, we should try different edge controls for, for a week and see what's, what's happening. So that is it for my natural hair product collection. Thank you guys so much for getting to this part. I really do appreciate you guys. Round of applause. Shawty make that cat. <laughs> Drop it to the floor, baby. Clap. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said before, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you will be notified anytime I do post another video. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Yeah. Oh, also comment down below if you got to this part in this video. Comment down below natural hair. Okay, so I think it's time to go. Guys, also, wow, I did my hair two weeks ago and this is how it's looking. So I am also going to be doing a takedown video, so stay tuned for that, guys. Bye.